Adam. Hi, Heather. Hello. We're here to talk to you guys today about 3.5, which reads, the school analyzes, interprets, and uses data to monitor progress towards the school achievement goals. Now, Adam, you're in the kindergarten. Heather, you're running Title I for us at the school. Talk to me about currently right now, so it's the early part of March, what you guys are in place getting ready to I'm do sorry. as it relates to uh, collecting data on our kindergarten students in the school. Either one of you want to go ahead and do that? Because um, you're talking that we have a couple different measurements that we're using on the kindergarten to know where they're at. Yes, so. um, one of the things that we do on the kindergarten side in our classroom is we just finished up our uh, March assessment where we were doing one-on-one uh, -on -one assessing standards-based and we add that to our intervention current uh, tracker as another piece of what we're seeing in our Ames Web assessing and what we're seeing in our classroom assessing. Are we seeing any um, outliers? Maybe we can talk about um, why they're possibly showing different numbers, having troubles with one part, not the other, um, or anything that's uh, conferring what we are seeing in our intervention rooms. So, and one thing I want to add, like, so the district, on the day that you're collecting benchmark, the district's getting you a sub, so you are the one that's collecting the testing. Yes. Okay. Yep. It's been very nice to be able to do that where I have a teacher in the classroom and I'm pulling students out into a quiet space, one-on-one, -on -one, being able to sit with them and go through and see what do they actually know. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What would you add to that? What we're talking about is, is mainly benchmark stuff. So, mm -hmm. being able to have that stuff for that. It's not stuff for all the other progress monitors and stuff. Right. But um, anytime we do benchmarking, they have that resource. Yes. Um, we take all the data and the information that she gives, and then um, we collect it and put it on a document. Um, it's called our Burdell Benchmark uh, Winter, Fall, whichever one yep. it is. And then they plug all the scores in. And then we look at what we pick as a um, target for kindergarten. And then we color code them versus tier one, two, and three. And so then we can visualize and see that information when we meet easier. And then uh, we can see which kids have the most needs, which ones are still doing fine, which ones are moving up, which ones are going down. And so we can have better discussion. Talk to me about, because you're mentioning the data meeting, and that's one of the one of the parts of this is where you're, you guys are having some form of a data meeting to, how often are you guys able to do that? We, we try and meet a little more often with kindergarten because students are moving at a quicker pace or we're needing to catch them. If yep. they're falling, if falling behind in an area or falling through the crack. Um, I think that meeting is also important because there's times where that end of benchmark assessment um, is not always reflecting the same kind of data in the other um, Ames web assessments. We might say, okay, this one is timed, this one is not. Maybe this was a really hard day, maybe it was a celebration yeah. day. So being able to pull in those factors and have that meeting instead of just looking at the numbers. Perfect. Did you add any to that, Heather? Um, I think our meetings are becoming a little bit more frequent. We're trying to meet about every two weeks. Perfect. Yes, yes. We're starting to do that, yeah. Perfect. So we've talked about how we're collecting data. Mm -hmm. You guys have talked about how we're tiering kids out. Can you guys talk a little bit about how you're using this assessment data to inform your instruction in the classroom or in the resource room? In the classroom, we use that to regroup students for some small group time. Um, pulling students that are needing the same um, pieces of information to be taught at a smaller setting, um, either intervention or even my high groups, if they're needing what's next coming in forward. Um, I'll use that data to change students to make the best fit groups. Perfect. Heather? Uh, once they come to us for intervention, we use a more structured literacy uh, process lesson with them and so we do the more diagnostic on them and then figure out which ones they do know, don't know, teach those lessons to get them, you know, in a group that I can teach a structured literacy lesson. Perfect. Perfect. Is there anything else that you guys would add to this discussion before we close out? I can think of anything that covers. What would you like to see different with it next year? Hmm. 
Um, I think just more time to be able to go more in depth on kids. Mm -hmm. um, being able to move them faster, being able to move all kids. So just, you know. Mm -hmm. I think a good focus on um, being able to see what times students are pulled, making yep. sure schedules are all very aligned. Correct. And mm -hmm. as schedules change, making sure we are We're staying done. on the same page and connecting about um, when students are able to get that second dose of information in a structured setting. Do you view that as a manageable? like get better at, like a continuous improvement for what we're doing to absolutely. be able to align the schedules? Yes, absolutely. I think it's obviously a tricky thing with a lot of moving parts. Right. So. Mm -hmm. And I think it's difficult in the beginning of the year once you start start your plans, everything kind of moves fast, the beginning of the year gets going, and then you're like, oh, we forgot about this piece, oh, we forgot about this yeah. time, or if times change throughout the year, that it's hard to change everyone else's schedule. So yep. just making sure we're like, yep. good and proactive about that. Cool. Mm -hmm. Friend behind the camera, is there anything that you would add to the discussion? No? All right. Well, thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. All right.